You talk too much. Mr. Sang. No need to tell him about our orders. Sorry, Sang. I gave you other orders. Now go. Don't forget to file your report. Oh, right. Very well, Rude and I will go after Sephiroth, who's heading for Junon Harbor. Thanks, Elena. You're the best. Elena, you don't seem to understand. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Go. Don't let Sephiroth get away. Yes, sir. And off they go, and Rude shows you how to go, go forward here, because I know when I first played the game, I couldn't figure out where the hell to go from this point. Reno said he wanted to see you after the injuries you gave him healed. He wants to show you his affection. He wants to show his affection for you all with a new weapon. Is he going to do the pyramid thing again? Because that didn't really work out. Well then. Olive. Long time no see. Looks like you got away from the Shinra for a while. Now that Sephiroth reappeared. So what are you saying? That I should be grateful to Sephiroth? No. Well, I won't be seeing too much of you. So take care. Strange, hearing that from you. Well then, stay out of Shinra's way. Yeah, if you bring Olive along, you get a little bit more dialogue with Sang, as you might expect. Uh, now, I don't believe you can- oh, you can actually go this way. That's right, you do get an elixir back here, and a high potion back here. Don't forget to get those, that's kind of- yeah. Sometimes I forget, like I said, this is kind of a mine. It's, it's so small that I always picture there's more there than there actually is. And then I overcompensate by thinking, oh, that's right, there's nothing, and I might actually forget something. Uh, this is actually a really good spot for grinding if you are looking to get the next level of Limit Break, because they're, the enemies that you fight here do come in quite big bunches, especially if you fight those snakes. Who are these guys? Once again, feel free to use magic all the time. Magic is not going to be hard to come by. They give you plenty of tents and all that kind of stuff. And we are back out on the world map on the other side of the mines. Now if I remember right, what we are looking for is right down here. This place is hard to miss, but you'd be amazed at how often people do. This is a giant fort. Believe it or not, are you going to give me the name? We've been fighting the Shinra for a long time at this battlefield. Even now, we're still settled in for a long war with them. If you aren't in a hurry, would you help us fight them? Listen, we don't want to push you, but if you're in the middle of something, why don't you finish that first? So, I have two options. I can ask where Junon is, which is what I really want to know, or I can help them. I'm going to help them for now because... Junon is what I really want to know, and therefore I have to do everything else first. So yeah, we'll help. Really? Then go on up and they'll fill you in on the details. Junon, by the way, is a little bit of a ways away. It's not too bad, but I definitely want to hang out here first. They haven't officially given us the name of it. I don't think it's that big of a spoiler. It's Fort Condor. Kind of named after that giant thing that we saw on the top there. That's supposed to be a condor, I believe. Just climb. Thank you. Now, Fort Condor is the one thing that I said I didn't do uh, in part... This is why I said in part zero that disqualifies me from ever saying that I did 100% the game before. I'll be doing that this time. Uh, what happens is that uh, you can come back here often and do what we're about to do many, many times, which is talk to this old guy. Now, this is something. Never thought anybody would ever climb up here. Your eyes are different. Well, anyhow, any minute now this will be a battlefield against the Shinra. You better get down before you get involved. What do you mean a battlefield? The Shinra. It appears you have a problem with Shinra too. After all, you climbed up here. Why not listen to what I have to say for a moment? And this is... I hesitate to say this is a dating mechanic, but technically this does count for your points. Um, but really, it's either positive for everybody or negative for everybody. Uh, I believe this only counts for people in... Not necessarily in your party that's with you, but you have to have them. 
in the party somehow, you know, even through PHS, even if they're in the back, I believe it still counts for them, but for people that you may not have recruited yet, it, it won't apply for them. Uh, Tank loves this the most, and uh, then Olive and Cheska like this the same, so if, if you're looking for a balance between them, that's not really it. Uh, but uh, of course I want to say I, I'm interested. And of course, if I say I'm not interested, they all hate it. Uh, once again, Tank hates it the most, then Cheska and Oliver are tied. Do you know what's at the top of this mountain? A huge bird! The reactor and the condor. So we all know it was a condor, apparently. That was my best guess, though. That's right, on that mountain is a condor and a reactor. Seems as Shinra doesn't like the idea of having a condor on top of the reactor. Why? It's not very logical. It seems there's some type of special materia in the reactor above us. And because the condors came, the Shinra rushed troops here. The military wants to get the condor and all the villagers off this mountain. The condors are now warming their eggs, which hatch only once every few years. We would like to protect the condors from being harmed. New lives. We must protect the condor eggs, right? So to protect the eggs, are you going to protect the reactor? Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to fight Shinra ourselves. That's why we have hired soldiers to help us. As our sponsor, you can help us with a contribution or by fighting alongside of us. Well, what do you think? Do you want to join us in our fight? Fred, why are you still worrying about it? You decide what we're going to do. Of course, here I'm going to say, yeah, sure, let's do it. Once again, everybody likes it, nobody likes it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yes, yes, let's do our best. I got it, let me hand a, lend a hand too. Now I wish, I really do wish, that we actually got to fight this, but that's not the way that this works. Uh, let's move on though, and we'll come back to that in a bit. Uh, there's a little bit to explore around here. You can head up top here. Yes, I will hang in there. And you can buy some items at the item shop, potions, phoenix downs, tranquilizers, and hypers. I should actually purchase a few more tranquilizers just in case. Probably make sure I have five of those at all time. Uh, but I would highly recommend that you get tranquilizers. Just keep one in stock. Remember I said that before. I would say to keep doing that. Tents are always useful. I have plenty of tents right now, though. Hello. Do your best. We will, too. Of course you will. This is the Materia Shop. And I don't think they have anything new for us. They don't, unfortunately. That's okay. That's okay. But you can get the items here. You can also head down here. And there is a save point that you might have seen earlier. I'm going to take advantage of that. You can also rest. Yeah, let's get some rest. That's not a date mechanic, but hey, you know, a heal is a heal, and it's free, so I always appreciate that. But now that I've slept at their place, I kind of feel like I owe them something. Let me go ahead and save, and then we'll take care of this battle against the Shinra. All right, we're all saved, all rested. Bring on the Shinra! Once again, I wish I could fight them would make this so much easier, but that's not how this is going to work, unfortunately. Now, that just doesn't give me anything, does it? I don't believe there are really any, like, loose items around here, just stuff that you can buy and other things, but there's nothing just lying around. Let's head up here and see if we can help. Thanks for accepting. Let me explain our strategy. The enemy will climb the mountain looking for the reactor. We will leave a trap for them and hire soldiers to protect the area. Well, that's all, but this village doesn't have any money. Even if we wanted to fight, our hands are tied because we're broke. If we hired one soldier, we would need 400 gil. So if we hired 20 soldiers, we must have 8,000 gil. So if you folks have the time, we would like you to use your own money to hire these soldiers, buy the trap, set it up, and command the troops. So what are you guys doing? Like, I'm providing the money, I'm providing the tactics, you guys are just bringing me the mercenaries that I'm able to hire. If you press for time, we'd like you to help us with the money. If you can give us the money, we can then hire soldiers with the funds and block Shinra's attack. We know that 
what we're asking is selfish. It damn well is. We have sent our wives and children to another village. We are resigned to our fate. Let's get back to square one. If the enemy penetrates our shed, you'll have to fight them immediately. And just because you lost once, it's not the end of the world, but if you lose repeatedly, it could be dangerous. Now, you could lose, and there is some merit to having a loss, but I would not recommend losing. The prize that you might get for losing, the item that you might get, is obtainable elsewhere, so I always like just to win all the time. Plus, I don't like losing. Who likes to lose? Now then, is there anything you wish to ask? No. No, I, I understand it. It's... I'll be honest, it's not that fun for a condor. Hey, this one climbing up here looks like they'd just be just right. Please, any help is appreciated. Okay. Preparation's ready. I think I am ready. We have ten enemies. There appear to be many beasts, so you may want to deploy more attackers. There are specialty mercenaries that deal with certain enemies better than other enemies, so because they're beasts, I want to use attack servers, and there'll be other examples of that. Are we going to load it? Okay, so here is the battlefield. All, it goes all the way down here. Uh, this is what it looks like. Here's the shed. This leads to the reactor up top with the condor that never moves being up there. Uh, they're all going to come from down here. And they're going to want to come all the way up. Now, if I remember right, when I hit this, uh, I still have the fighters. These are overall just your basic fighter. Uh, then you have the catapults, which are also very nice. The stoners, I don't know why they're called that. Also, very nice. Can roll a stone, they can't move. This throws, this throws stones, uh, they can't move, and it throws it whenever it feels like it. Workers can set a bomb. I've never been a fan of those. We have the repairers to help repair the catapults and the stoners. And we have shooters. They're strong against the birds, weak against the beasts. Uh, sorry, they beat the wyverns, not the birds. I always call them birds, though. Uh, you don't want to use these this time. You have the defenders. Uh, they have the highest HP. They're strong against the barbarians, weak to the wyverns. And we have the attackers, which are fast. They beat the beasts and they lose to barbarians. So what we want to do, as you can see, they're quite expensive. Um, I want to actually. Are you gonna let me? Yes. This is kind of a technique that I, I'm not that familiar with, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Uh, what we're gonna do is tell him to move around here. And this is real time. Um, so this, this, this is going to be an issue. But as he continues to move down, uh, we will be able to move our guys further down. So another attacker here and have him um, go down here and attack this guy. Uh, now we want another guy over here. How far down can I go? I can go further down. Okay, and damn it. That is not what I wanted. Uh, but you go down here. 